To log and capture the details of your fishing trip, simply tap the trip log icon on your iBobber home screen. If you haven't already created a trip log in the fish finding or mapping modes, tap the GPS pin icon to add the coordinates of your current location, creating a new trip log. Make sure you do this from the location you want to record. If you want to make sure you're GPS tagging the right spot, press location to access a map showing the GPS location of your fishing trip. Once you have the trip log open, if you created the log from a sonar screen, you will see a photo of the sonar readings of the moment you press the GPS pin, including waterbed mapping. If you simply created the log from the trip log screen, you won't see this and you will need to add your own photo. Either way, you can now enter a title for your trip as well as what type of lure you used, water conditions, type of fishing, number of fish caught, and any other notes you want to include about your trip. Other data from the fishing session will be filled in automatically, including the water temperature and depth, date, time, and air temperature. From your trip log, you can also access your smartphone or device's camera or add photos from your photo gallery by pressing the camera icon. These photos can be shared separate from the trip log by tapping on the photo, then tapping the share icon here. You may also delete a picture this way. Remember, you can only share photos to Instagram. If you want to share your entire trip log, you can do so by tapping the share icon in the upper right corner. This will allow you to share your full trip log via a number of programs including Fishity, email, Twitter, Facebook, and others, depending on what you have on your device already. Have fun out there, and we hope you find the trip log helpful. Tight lines.